Hey, it's Derek from WatchMeCode.net. So I got a question from an Alexander Zeitler on Twitter recently, and he was asking about JavaScript and the new keyword, and specifically asking about the performance considerations of using the new keyword. And I asked him for some clarification initially, and he pointed to several Stack Overflow answers and performance tests that show how using the new keyword compared to object literals or object.create even, can have some pretty dramatic performance effects. Somewhere in the neighborhood of, you know, eight to 10 times slower, in fact. And he wondered my opinion about this from the perspective of losing the intent of the code by using other forms of object creation versus keeping something that is a little more familiar to most developers by using the new keyword. And my initial thought was, wow, you know, that's a pretty big performance difference. But when it really comes down to it, that performance difference is almost negligible, almost meaningless, really. It's, it's, it sounds a little odd saying that because, I mean, clearly there is a big difference, you know, eight to 10 times slower, it sounds pretty big. But when you look at the actual numbers of the JS perf tests and the other stats that people are quoting, you see that the eight to 10 times slower is still roughly 35 million operations per second. So if you can go from 35 million operations per second, 35 million new objects to 230, 300 million objects per second using a different pattern, well, chances are you're never going to see the performance difference in your application that way. I mean, realistically, no human being will ever even reasonably be able to see that performance difference. The only time you're going to see that difference is when you have something in your object, something in the processing, something in the data, some external service call, something somewhere that is going to slow that, slow things down far enough, slow enough, bad enough that you would be able to see the difference. Being able to go from 35 million to 235 million is, I mean, there, there's no there's no need for that unless you're doing something incredibly intensive with new objects all over the place. And if you're doing that, maybe JavaScript might not be the best language for what you're doing. I mean, there's a lot of things we can do as developers to, <clears throat> to really optimize our code and improve the performance of the systems that we're writing. But when it comes down to it, I think this kind of looking at new versus object literals for performance improvement is probably premature optimization. We're, we're probably looking at this as, well, I know it's faster, so I should do it this way, when the reality is it's not significantly faster from a human perspective, so it's not really going to make a difference. Developers and, and humans in general are notoriously bad at guessing where the problems are really going to be when it comes to performance. Speed, memory, whatever type of performance you're, you're talking about. So what we need to do instead of just asking blanket questions about performance of new versus object literals is actually take measurements in our application. Get real statistics about the thing that's being slow in our application look at the code that's actually running in our scenario and see if there is a better way of doing things. Until we have actual data, until we've sat down and run the performance tests on our code in our application, there's not really any point in having the discussion about performance. It's all just theory and it's all just, you know, what if? Well, what if I went from 35 million objects per second to 235 million per second. It's not really going to make a difference from, from the human perspective, because chances are you're never going to be instantiating that many objects anyways. I mean, over the lifetime of an application across hundreds or thousands of users, sure, but not on any one individual browser, maybe in a long-running Node.js session, 
but never that many in a second or more. If you're doing that, again, you might think of scaling your system out before you need to really consider the performance implications of the new keyword versus object literals in JavaScript.